Dr. Sarah McDoom has a passion for teaching. I'll have a listen to your heart. Today, she's doing an in-home visit with 96-year-old Barb Jensen, and along with her is resident physician, Dr. Alicia Kennedy. I think it's just important to pass on your, your love for medicine and for teaching to the next generation. Since 2003, she's taught over 100 up-and-coming physicians. For Dr. Kennedy, this is her final day of residency. She's amazing. She gives me you know, lots of opportunity to be independent while also having the confidence in me to you know, let patients go and create my own management and treatment plans. But she's also very approachable for things that I'm not sure about. And that's my mom. Dr. McDoom is originally from Pakistan. She came to Canada with her husband and two boys in 1999. She spent two years in the Rural Alberta South Family Medicine Residency Program. While based in Lethbridge, she spent much of her residency practicing in the smaller communities of Crow's Nest Pass, Fort McLeod, Tabor, and Milk River. And that was the beginning of my journey of my love for Southern Alberta. In 2003, she began her family medicine practice in High River, where there was a great demand for a female physician who loved obstetrics. In no time, she was delivering up to 100 babies a year. And I have so many families in my practice that are like four generations, you know? And, and it started with that one woman who came to me to have a baby, and then she brought her parents to me, then she brought her grandparents to me, you know? So then it feels like a little village, you know? We are all looking after each other. Dr. McDoom embraces the safe and laid back lifestyle of rural Alberta. She recalls the time when her dad came to visit her from Pakistan, and she was called in the middle of the night to deliver a baby. I was leaving and my dad said, hold on, I'll come with you. And I'm like, excuse me, dad. <laughs> and he said, no, girls shouldn't be going out alone in the middle of the night. And I'm like, oh gosh, I'm so Canadian now. <laughs> He said, no, I'll come with you or wake up your husband or one of the boys and take them with you. I'm like, yeah, dad, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh -huh. Here, I'll help you sit forward a little bit so we can have a listen to your lungs. Yeah. Dr. McDoom recently transitioned out of obstetrics and into senior care. And nice big breath, Barb. One of her sons painted these flowers for her. Painting is also one of her hobbies, along with gardening, going for walks and cooking. Her favorite pastime of all, though, is spending time with her first grandchild, Eliana. And she just kind of reaches for you, you know, and she just, her eyes just light up and she just smiles and, oh, it just means a lot to me. No doubt Eliana will grow to love the same calming influence that Dr. McDoom has on her patients. Super engaged with her patients and you can tell every single time that, you know, there's even some that don't want to see me because they're just so adamant about seeing her, so. They definitely love her, yeah. We do about 20 minutes. Dr. McDoom sees her appointment to the RPAP board as a way of giving back for the training and accommodations that she received early in her career. I wanted to do it as a way of thanking RPAP because I, I used those services as a resident. You know, the beautiful houses that they provided us in those small towns, right? Um, and all the backup support and um, Everything that RPAP did for us, I can never forget it. 